Hi, I'm Christina Federella. I'm um, an undergraduate student. Just finished my second year and started my third year now in uh, the School of Psychology. Uh, the project is on facial composites. It's images of faces uh, constructed from a person's memory, so uh, like the police uses to catch criminals um, and bring them to justice. So I basically learned how to use uh, two different composite techniques, um, EvoFit and ProFit. Um, EvoFit was actually um, developed by my supervisor, Dr. Charlie Frout. So I felt quite privileged to be able to work with somebody who's obviously a leading expert. Um, and I've been uh, constructing composites and um, um, asking people to identify them to see how accurate they are. So that's um, the slight frustration um, that we didn't find any statistical uh, significant results. Um, that was thought to be uh, caused by the original photographs that we used. So um, in a um, study on facial composites, you usually use original target photographs. Um, and um, those pictures weren't very accurate, so uh, they weren't very up to date. And participants commented on the photographs not being very um, good likeness of the person, so that's probably the main issue, really. It kind of made me much more excited about research. So um, in year one and year two, it's kind of all very theoretical, um, whereas now I've seen how research is actually being constructed and. Um, I basically found a research area that I would have never thought about before, so I'm kind of basing my third year project on it as well and kind of thinking already of my PhD now, so definitely got a lot out of it. So I'm quite excited about facial composites now and want to, um, yeah, it made me basically quite curious about it and got lots of questions and lots of ideas about what I could do and um, it was obviously got help as well to work with Dr. Charlie Frau because he's obviously a leading expert, so um, I got a lot out of it, definitely. <laughs> well, first of all, it makes you more confident because um, you have to kind of overcome the shyness of um, developing a research design and kind of um, you, g you get more creative once you've done it. And um, also, I'm less, um, I'm less shy to go to participants and ask them if they'd like to participate in my study because I'm kind of used to it now. Well, they should definitely go for it because um, there's so much you can get out of it. I'm really, really happy that I, I got a place and really chuffed about that.